Bluetooth audio is gearing up for one of the biggest changes in over two decades. And before I get into these changes, here's a little history on where we are with Bluetooth audio. Back in 2003, the Bluetooth group introduced a standard for wireless audio known as Classic Audio. Think of the standard like a set of rules all companies had to follow in order to put this logo onto their product. And we've been making Bluetooth audio devices with the standard ever since. Everything from speakers to earbuds to headphones. So naturally, you might be wondering, why do we need a new standard? So the original standard enabled a whole new market of wireless devices, but what happens when a company has a new feature that the standard doesn't cover? New features like voice assistance or multiple audio streams are either not possible or very limited by the standard. For some time, to work around these limitations, companies have been coming up with their own solutions in addition to the standard and, you guess it, this is often proprietary. But what if there was a new standard that addressed these limitations? This next chapter in Bluetooth audio is called LE Audio. LE Audio brings in a suite of changes, including a new generic audio framework and a new audio codec. This framework introduces seven new profiles and control services that help support existing and future applications. A new example profile is what we commonly refer to as true wireless earbuds. With this new profile, companies no longer need to come up with their own solution and can use this profile right from the LE Audio standard. Audio quality is also getting a major upgrade with the new LC3 codec. This codec gives us much better audio quality compared to the older SBC codec at a lower bitrate, meaning it will require less bandwidth to operate. And less bandwidth means we can use less energy and ultimately give us longer battery life. The latest spec also introduces ISOC channels, and at a very high level, this enables lower latency between devices, bi-directional communication, and broadcasting. And here they are, gonna lay it this broadcasting feature is a big change in LE Audio, since it will enable one-to-many devices communication, where previously classic audio was limited to a point-to-point -point communication. Date 35, leaving in 15 minutes. And this paves the way for new features like Auracast, where a single device can broadcast multiple streams of audio to different devices simultaneously. But what if instead of broadcasting to multiple devices, we could receive multiple streams of audio to one central device? Something like having this mic here. Or that mic over there. Or that mic over there. And in fact, this entire video's audio is a result of Infineon's latest LE audio demo with the CYW2029 Bluetooth LE MCU, where we are testing a new use case with multiple mics running our 2029 streaming directly to a central 2029 kit. Our latest demo uses the benefits that LE audio has to offer, such as the LC3 codec for higher audio quality, ISOC channels to minimize latency, and multi-device support. Infineon is committed to developing its LE portfolio to support these latest features, starting with our CYW2029. So stay tuned as we continue to develop more new and exciting use cases. Thanks for watching.